Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Now you see me launch Fusion 360 from a thumbnail link on my desktop, and you also see the same program listed in my lineup. And that might lead you to think I have Inventor Fusion installed on my PC. That's not the case. What I'm launching right now is a cloud-hosted version of Inventor Fusion called Autodesk Fusion 360. The hosted software works through a lightweight client, which does have to be set up on your machine. But once you have got that done, you can launch Inventor Fusion in the cloud. The home screen looks a lot more like a social networking site's home page than a desktop design app. And that's for good reason. Fusion 360 gives you the familiar blogging, emailing, tagging, even polling functions. The kind that you would typically see on Facebook. And that's probably meant to nudge you towards sharing your design, collaborating with others, and trading comments online. So instead of your hard drive, you now have access to a secure server space with folders. Mine is currently restricted, so only I could see it. I'm selecting a file already uploaded and choosing the Edit function. This brings you inside the Fusion design environment. It's virtually no different from your typical Inventor Fusion environment on a desktop version. Once you're in that environment, you can, for example, sketch on a surface, And when you're ready to edit or make changes to the existing geometry, you can activate the usual commands. In this case, I'll be executing a push-pull direct editing command on this particular surface. Now, depending on your internet connection and the size of the assembly that you are editing or rotating, you might detect a very slight delay. And that's hardly detectable in my case. And actually, I don't have a T1 connection. I just have a consumer DSL package for home users. It's definitely a crush against the critics' argument that CAD editing, not viewing and markup with lightweight formats, but editing native CAD files, won't work in the cloud. It turns out that argument doesn't quite hold in this case. Keep in mind, Fusion 360 is not just a viewing and markup program. This is a full functioning CAD design and editing software. So you can use it to create parts and assemblies from scratch. Here, for example, I'm starting out on a simple part with a sketch first, then extruding the profile using Inventor Fusion's direct editing tools. Now I'm going to go ahead and add chamfers to the edges on this block. Fusion 360 is now available for public testing. It's a very persuasive argument that shows the technology works. The hurdles for using CAD in the cloud, as made evident by Fusion 360, aren't the code or even the connection speed. So it finally comes down to the cultural attitude, comfort with cloud storage security, and contractual obligations with your clients, perhaps. The most vocal argument against using cloud-hosted design software goes like this. No one wants to put their IP in the cloud. I do think this argument gets weaker as more people start to use the cloud to store other most sensitive data like banking records and healthcare data. DarkPara's recent robotic design challenge, covered extensively by my colleague Beth Stackpole, shows even in some government institutions typically associated with tight IP control, there is now currently a willingness to trust cloud-hosted design and collaboration software tools with sufficient safeguards in place. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine reporting from somewhere inside the cloud.